I don't know why it's so difficult to send invoices. They are the thing that gets you paid. So it seems like it should be the easiest thing to do. Let's get started creating your invoices with Moxie. To begin with, let's get your invoices set up. So this is uh, invoice reminder emails. You can send them as often as you feel like your clients need. You can send default email templates. So you'll be able to edit each of, uh, each of these as you send a new invoice. Um, but these will send automatically. So if you want to uh, create a template, it's here in your workspace settings. So click on templates and then email templates. Then each of the templates that you created will be here in the dropdown and you just have to click on it to let folks know uh, to, to send these emails that you created automatically. You can add universal payment instructions here as well. These will show up on every single invoice. You can make it, uh, you can edit that per each invoice as well if you are sending those manually. Uh, you also get to choose your line item format, whether that's a summary of each line item or you can break out all the details. So a summary is just going to show them the time that you've worked and that you worked for them. Details are going to break out showing projects and tasks and any notes that you've taken when it comes to the time. And you can quickly add those as a side note here in your time tracking. When you go to start your timer, you can see client project task notes. If you'd like to show all of these things to your clients in your invoice, you'll want to choose detailed here. This is where you can set up your invoice numbering. Uh, you can uh, make that as simple or as complex as you'd like. And here you can set up your tax preferences and compliance settings. This again is gonna uh, apply to every single invoice that you create. So let's go into our invoices. There's a couple ways you can do this depending on how you like to think about your invoices. You can do it by client and click on invoice. This will show you just this client's invoices and you'll be able to see the, the status of each of these invoices. And it's easy to click on any invoice to edit or view that invoice. Now that we're here in this invoice, uh, you can see each of these things is editable. I can update this due date. This is based off of the payment settings that I've created with this client. Um, I can edit my address here if I'd like and add an address here. This will then save to the client and auto-populate every time you create an invoice for this client. When you uh, here in the description, you'll be able to add items lots of different ways. So uh, one is uh, just an ad hoc line item. So if you did a little something extra or you're sending an invoice for a one off thing that isn't related to a project, you'll want to use this line that says add new line item. This is going to pull up your product and service library. Let's say you uh, charge per page for some voice work, which is exactly what this is for. Um, I'm going to say, oh, I did three extra pages this month at $100 per page. So I'll click on my page and I will update this quantity to the number of pages that I did. So let's say three pages. Now I have my subtotal and that has been added here. I can also assign this to a project if I also want to be able to keep track of this line item. Quickly add these line items by choosing create new and you'll be able to add in a name, a default rate, add in a currency. You can also choose to bill these by the hour if uh, you want to create a product or service that is billed hourly. So uh, they will stay saved in here anytime and you can edit those as you need to raise your rates. If you would like to add something that you have tracked like a project or a retainer that you have set up for recurring charges or you charge hourly, you'll want to click on add tracked hours or billable items. This is going to pull up every single thing that you have that is due for you to be paid that has not yet been added to an invoice. And it doesn't matter how that's been billed. So these are hours that I have tracked that have not yet been added to an invoice. I also have a fixed rate project. So here, this is a fixed rate at 250 and I can choose to invoice a different amount today if I would like. There is also this retainer project that is recurring. So you can see this recurs month over month. I can choose to add whichever months that I want to be paid for. And this will keep track of which of these months that I have billed for. So what you can see here is that none of these months have yet been added to an invoice. 
Once you click on any of these items, they can be added either in full or in part. Uh, you can see this one, I have previously invoiced this project. So uh, there is nothing due today because this has all been previously invoiced. Where here, this one is, uh, I can add this to my invoice now um, because it is a, a fixed rate project and nothing has been invoiced yet. So I'll add those here. You can see it'll give you just these uh, date ranges and uh, some quick information that I have added um, to each thing. If you have chosen the detailed version of each, when you show your hours, it will show your project, your task, and any notes that you added here in the invoice as well. If you have tracked expenses to this client, you'll see this add reimbursable expense. And all of the expenses that you have sent to this client and checked marked as reimbursable will be available for you here. So you can easily add those here as well. And if there is a deposit credit available, so they already paid the deposit credit, you can see here is what I've collected, here's what's available, and I can choose to apply some or all of it to this invoice. So you'll see you get this subtotal here. I can apply, add a discount by percentage, or I can add this credit. Add any notes. You'll see my universal payment instructions here. I can also attach a file and I can update my payment terms. So here I've set up a 5% monthly late fee. I can update these payment terms to be uh, 30 days on receipt and I can add my late payment here as well. Now I've got my full invoice. I can save this as a draft or I can share it either via an email or download it as a PDF and share that a different way. If I do choose to send an email, this will pull from the email template that I chose in the settings that we went over. Uh, we can also uh, change this template by choosing any of these templates that I have created. We'll go over specific things when it comes to templates in our template section. You can see more things about how to create uh, other pieces that all work together within Moxie here in our help center. Click on that question mark and you can see all of the other things that Moxie can do because each of Moxie's features is only strengthened by using other Moxie features. You can see all of these invoices in your accounting. So you'll be able to see invoices here that you've created. This one is going to show me all of my invoices that I've sent across all clients, if you prefer to see it that way. You can also create recurring invoices. So if you want to send an invoice every single month, then you will set up a recurring invoice. You can set up the interval, you can send it automatically, or you can choose to approve the invoices that you send. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute if you want to approve it. Or you can say, I want to send this automatically. If you are using Stripe, you can also automatically charge on the due date. So you can save a payment method in Stripe secure servers, and then your client will get charged on the credit card they put on file on the due date. No more late payments or chasing down clients. It just gets charged on the correct due date. One other quick note that I love to show you is if you do have Stripe uh, enabled, you can connect those things here uh, from Stripe payments and you can connect other apps like PayPal as well if you want to accept payments via Stripe and or via PayPal. There are tons of things in Moxie to help you get paid and get paid faster because our biggest concern is what's happening with you and your business. So we are here to help.